In this problem, we're going to solve this differential equation. This is a linear uh, differential equation, and it's order 2 because the highest derivative is 2. And because it has constant coefficients, uh, we can solve it using this method. So the method is to first write down what's called the characteristic or auxiliary equation. So this is the um, second derivative. So we can write m squared. Basically, you just match it uh, to the order of the derivative. And then minus 10. This is the first derivative, so it's just m to the 1. And then um, you can think of y as the 0th derivative. So it'd be m to the 0, which is 1. So you just put the 17. You don't have to worry about m's when there's a number. Then we have to solve this. Um, I don't think this is going to factor nicely. Um, let's solve it maybe by completing, uh, no, not completing the square. Let's use the quadratic formula. <laughs> that might be a good, a good attempt. So our a is 1, and our b is negative 10. You can certainly complete the square. That would also work. And our c is 17. So recall the quadratic formula says that it's negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac, all divided by 2a. So x is equal to, so it'll be negative negative 10, because b is negative 10, so this is 10, plus or minus the square root of. So b squared is going to be negative 10 squared, so that's 100, minus 4, a is 1, and then c is 17, good stuff, all over 2 times a, so 2 times 1, yep. All right, so x is equal to 10 plus or minus, this will be the square root of, uh, let's see, 4 times 17 is going to be um, 68, yeah, 68, this is 100 minus 68 over 2. So this is 10 plus or minus the square root of 32 over 2. So the square root of 32 can probably be simplified. Let's see. The largest factor of 32, um, that's a perfect square, is 16. So you can write it as 16 times 2. So that's 4 square root of 2. So x is equal to 10 plus or minus 4 square root of 2 over 2. And then we can break this up as follows. This will be 10 over 2 plus or minus 4 square root of 2 over 2. So that's 5 plus or minus 2 square root of 2. So we have two values uh, for x. Actually, it's not x, it's m in this problem. So m is equal to 5 plus or minus 2 square root of 2. Messed up there. Way back there. M, M, M. Pretty sloppy. But now we can get the answer, and the answer should be correct. So Y equals C1, and the formula is E to the M1X plus C2 E to the M2X. And so what you do is you basically just plug in these M's in here. So let's do that carefully. So it'll be C1 E... So let's take the plus first. So it'll be 5 plus 2 square root 2. Looks really weird, right? And then x. And then the next one would be c sub 2 equals, and then it's 5 minus 2 square root 2, and then you have your x. So really weird um, looking answer.